So Safeone finally released the Safeone Bridges and good things are already happening here to the coin. We have more message here from John, the CEO of Safemoon. So we're also going to do some analysis for Safemoon and see what's going to happen to this coin in the future. But guys, don't forget to subscribe to the channel and like this video. It really does mean the world to me that you're helping this channel to grow. You're making it continue to go up. We're at 26,000 subscribers. Let's go to the 27 number. Without you, this channel just wouldn't exist. So let's all go together to the moon. So here we are in Coinmarket Cap. Let's go what's been happening to this coin for the last couple of hours and last couple of days. Basically, in our, as you can see, market still not it's not moving. Basically, it's not moving here. You can see two billion market cap here still. The volume the last 24 hours is 23 million dollars, and as as you can see here, the graph here kind of going up and then stabilization right now. So what is happening? What have we seen increase? Well, you have to remember that these are bridges, and we're not like people. If people did buy the coin. They're not in the Binance Smart Chain, they're in the Ethereum chain now. So uh, we can't really look at this chart anymore because of that. So now we have a new, like, basically coin here called P Safe Moon. And because of that, uh, we can't really just look at this chart. We have to find a combination of all of the charts here if we want something like that to happen, where we can look at the chart exactly. Let's continue. Let's go here to their Twitter because they did say here. It says here the first safe moon bridge will be completed today at 5 p.m. UK time via P Network D5. So there you go. The first bridge between BSC and Ethereum. So like I, like they said, Ethereum bridge has been done and it does work. So this is the contract address. It says here the bridge has been made safe moon via P Network D5. There you go. This is the bridge. If you do want to buy the coin, this is the address actually. And you can go purchase it through uniswap you got video tutorials on that if you want me i can make a tutorial also how you can do it here but it's not that difficult it's just like buying a coin here so it's still pretty interesting to see here that we are the bridges are made uh, like they did fulfill finally a project that they talk about so until now we don't really have uh systematic things we only have tangible things there they have been completed because like i said this coin has only been old by a hundred days so hundred days old coin uh not really enough time to do anything but now bridges they fulfill bridges we have a safe moon a wallet beta testers already testing the wallet and the wallet should be already out here in july so by the end of july we should be seeing the wallet here so Basically, it's like John said, like the CEO did say here, uh, they're moving at ludicrous speed, just doing everything they can to make everything work. So let's continue here. Let's go here to John's Twitter. So John here did say, here is the link to the bridge. You can check it out. It says here, so far so great. Another successful wallet a meeting in the books. We started to pick a participants for the beta. Those individuals will be notified via email when all are chosen. Keep up to date with the latest info by checking the official social media daily. So this is from Hank. And then uh, John in reply here saying, I hope you're ready, Safe One Army. Check your inboxes and be on the lookout for a Safe One Wallet beta invite. So 100 people will get the Safe One beta invite. So we're going to see who is going to go in the beta. He says here, Bridges are live. Safe Moon, thank you, P Network DeFi. Contract address for P Safe Moon. There you go. So, like I said, now you can buy Safe Moon through the Ethereum blockchain. So, if you have Ethereum, you can buy safe moon through it which is really good because a lot of people do have ethereum a lot of people are used to having ethereum in their wallets and purchasing other coins from that so pretty cool pretty good things are happening let's go let's continue because john here did post another post but not really on his twitter or reddit he posted here on linkedin saying many projects so i want to read this first many projects and upgrades in the next 6 to 12 months john linkedin so one aspect i feel a lot of projects are missing is the concept of resiliency they forgot that they will need to impro improvise adapt and overcome every situation that is thrown at them Copy and pasting some code to get rich quick or without a plan usually is, is not a recipe for long-term growth and success. A lot of projects fail due to the inability to adapt to an ever-changing environment. Some get lucky, others do not. Projects need to make sure they plan for third-party failure and have contingencies in place to address the problem at the time. Now that we are cross-chain and are no longer limited by the Binance Smart Chain, our system just got one step stronger. The safe moon token will be on Ethereum, EOS, VAX, and of course BSC. This is the first of many upgrades, evolutions to the release over the next 6 to 12 months here. So there you go. There you go, basically. He's just saying here that uh, if you're making 
like a company you need really need to make a giant plan here and some contingencies so even if you you fail basically even if something bad happens you have to fix it somehow you have to be adaptable when new things come out you have to be the one who is going to follow those trends to really make everything work so in the end because they did this because if binance ever does fail they can rely on ethereum or they can rely on vax or eos so there you go that's super good to see for them they're just protecting the coin like they said they're one step stronger some more security more good things happening here to the coin but let's continue got some more posts so safefoon bridges was trending here on twitter so that's awesome this is what makes the community different we all do our part we all contribute in our own way this is an extremely valuable opportunity for free. Love you all. Abe, we have doubled this in 20 minutes. Continue the march. So it was, let's say it's almost 4K tweets here. Now it should be 8K, maybe even more. This is this was 19 hours ago, so probably even more than that. So breaking all of their records here. So this is, somebody did find the chart here. And this is how the chart does look like for Safemoon, for P Safemoon. So this is the Ethereum Safemoon basically where they go and pump basically. We're gonna see what's gonna happen here. Like I said, we only have a couple of candlesticks here which is not enough to really determine what is happening here to Safemoon. So you have to be patient for the future of this coin here. Some days need to pass so the, so the graph does form and once it does form, then we can do some analysis and to see what's going to happen here in the future so in the end like i said still really good things are happening here to this coin i just want to check out bitcoin here for a second i want to show you guys the whole market is going down you can just see the bitcoin they break down by a lot here so if we do measure this if we go from here to here you can just see five percent down but safe when they go down but it normally what safe one does is if bitcoin goes down by five percent then safe was going to go down by 15 to maybe even 20 percent down it's not doing that anymore it's not following bitcoin so much anymore so it is following bitcoin but not all the way anymore so it's making its own graph kind of here and that's really good this is really good to see because the more the less we rely on bitcoin the more power to safe moon and i think that's the one of the most important parts here i believe like so many people will just hold this coin for such a long time this is why you can see that this coin here has 2 million market cap. I think like John did say they have 3 billion market cap. But the volume here, we only have like 23 million. Like Shiba Inu right now has 1 billion. So this is like, it's like 50 times the volume here. It's a huge, huge number. But uh, why is that? Basically not a lot of people are still interested in the safe moon. But there's a lot of people who are holding safe moon in their wallets and just will never sell. But for Shiba Inu, there's a lot of volume going on. So a lot of people are selling and buying and selling and buying. But Safemoon is just a different coin. It's just a totally different breed of a coin that has its own tokenomics. It just it works so many, so differently for so many different coins. And it's just going to be something special in the future. Like how they did the tokenomics is so ingenious where basically we're still burning the coin. People are still getting more coins every single day. And it's just really, we're doing a great job here. Just... It's an ingenious way how to make a coin go up and make people uh, hold the coin for longer. For really, it's going, it really is rewarding you for not selling the coin. It's not like they scam anybody. It's just a normal thing here that they made. But it's an ingenious thing, and this is why I think it's going to be like safe one here is going to be huge, huge, huge in the future. This year, do not buy. Uh, any safe one on the Ethereum network. Why? I know there's a lot of people trying to buy safe one on Uniswap, but keep uh, getting liquidity errors. Please do not buy anything until the devs have released an official statement with instructions. There are many scammers out there. So, as much as I want this to happen, I'm sure it will happen today. As with all things like this, I'm waiting for the following the official word from the team, a video explanation explaining how to do this. So I always get nervous about stuff like this and, get, and generally, wait, I remember the first time I bought Safemoon via Simplex and it took 50 to 60 hours to get my BNB. That freaked me out. So be careful guys, do watch some tutorials on how you can do it. I think you already have tutorials here on YouTube. If you want me, then leave a like here and comment down below that you want me to make a tutorial on how you can buy Safemoon through a uniswap basically you basically see that this is the bsc uh safe from bsc it's not safe from ethereum and that's the biggest problem so we can only look at 
and the BSC part of safe for now not ethereum so slower think they will fix this so i think we gotta get some good charts we're gonna combine everything together and hopefully because that the value of this coin will be able to go up or we're just gonna have separate charts so even if we do so if we do have separate separate chart have to think about something is that is that uh, the second chart the ethereum one has to like uh some time has to pass if we want to really have a graph because we don't really have any more uh, we just don't have the candlesticks here. It's not really loaded in so some time needs to pass if we want to do some analysis on the coin But before we continue here, I want to talk about this 51,000 more watch list and then before and if you do want to buy the coin you got all of these different Exchanges so really good to see here in the end what happened to the chart here basically that we did, we're just stabilizing So we're pretty much okay. If they go down maybe here by how much is this? Boom, well, from here, you're like 3% down. It's pretty much okay. It's not a big problem. So, Bitcoin did go down in the end. So, you have to remember. So, Bitcoin right now is kind of going down and it kind of is stabilized here. So, Safemoon didn't really go down with Bitcoin because I think Bitcoin did go down by 5% and Safemoon here only by 3%. So, pretty much it's okay. It's not a big problem. We're still doing a really good job here with Safemoon. We are slowly climbing, but we're like I said, good things are happening to the coin. And now we have separate charts. So, Seth. That, that's the biggest problem. You can't really measure anything now until we have those uh, stats really shown everywhere. So slowly here, they will show, show our, uh, all the stats here and then good things can happen to this coin like I said here. Can we go, wait, wait, if we do go to here, if we go to markets, can we buy it on? Yeah, it's still a little low. Tell me, you guys. So we have pancake swap, but we really don't. But we don't have uni swap here. So we're gonna need uni swap here to show. That's the thing. Is now we can buy safe moon through uni swap here with your making a mask if you do want so. So there you go. A lot of the interesting things are happening here to the coin to safe moon. In the end, they didn't really fulfill the bridges, and but I think still we only have the Ethereum bridge. So we got two more bridges still left for them to activate actually so slowly slowly good things are going to start to happen here to safe moon and this will just accumulate guys because more people now have access to buying safe moon here in a different way because a lot of people already have like uniswap and the, the wallet set up so just like like i said a lot more people just have the whole setup already done so more people will be have access to safe moon here and that's the whole point of the bridges here that people just have more access to buy the coin in different in different places here and it's gonna make safe moon slowly explode like i said here so in the end like i said good things happening but let's continue oh yeah i want to talk about this first the uh, ma's still pretty okay the biggest problem I'm seeing right now is that they are pretty close here but in the end there's a go again a good chance that we could be uh just blowing up also and continuing to go up to all the way to this level here so something like this boom reaching this level then boom reaching this level something like this could happen to the coin if we do continue right over here if, we, if you do look at the rsi this is also really good for the rsi because as you can see here the rsi did go to the max here and this is really bad because nobody wants to buy the coin with the rsi super at the top here but people do want to buy the coin with the rsi is in the middle or even lower than that so as you can see here when the rsi was in the minus here basically boom a lot of buying power so a lot of people did buy the coin same thing happening here so because we are going down we are stabilizing this kind of stabilization is good because we're not going too much imagine having stabilization by going down by 10 by 15 percent that's not that good but like this we're slowly going down and it should mean that uh, we're gonna have more buying power in the future for now it looks like kind of the buying power is losing you just see here that we here had a ton of buying power but now we have lower and lower but like i said it's because of stabilization this is what we need we need the stabilization and then soon enough we're gonna have more buying power hopefully we're gonna see because like i said good things are still happening here to save them but let's continue so in the end guys i'm not a financial advisor if you do want to buy these coins please do your own research first and if you did enjoy this video it means so much for me if you can like this video comment down below and subscribe to my channel thank you so much for watching and see you guys in the next video